One two one two. What's going on? This is DJ Buddy. Hope you're having a good day. I am here to show you guys how to fix your Serato. If your iTunes library will not expand and show you the playlists. If you're advanced and you don't need to hear me talk, I am going to have these things, these steps in the description. Okay. So here's the problem. I'm loading up my Serato. I'm on Catalina, right? And I'm not, it's no longer iTunes, it's music. And I got Serato DJ. I load up my Serato DJ and my iTunes is closed like this. And I can't click on it and expand to see my playlist. That's the issue. And I want to caveat, I've done these fixes, so I can't show you my Serato broken anymore. So a lot of this is hypothetical, okay? So, once again, my iTunes is here, but I can't expand it to see the playlist, right? No matter what you do, click, 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 restart Serato, restart the computer, you can't expand it. I've done a whole bunch of things leading up to this solution, so it might be those things that I fixed and now made this solution possible, but I believe that this solution is the first thing you should try because it's the easiest thing, all right? What we're gonna do is go to our settings, library and display, turn off the iTunes, okay? It says right here, show iTunes library. I'm gonna let that process, I'm gonna fast forward. Okay, so the orange bar down at the bottom, the status bar is gone. If we look over here, iTunes is now gone, as we expect. Now let's turn that back on, okay? Show iTunes library. And I'm gonna fast forward, cause this is gonna take a bit. Okay, fast forward session is now done. The iTunes library should be ready. Let's go back to our playlist and you should be able to expand your iTunes now and see all your playlists. So now that is the main solution. I think that is going to be the solution. So go ahead and try that first. But before I found that solution, I tried a whole bunch of other things and they seemed to work. They would work sometimes and they wouldn't. So I would always do these things anytime I, um, I could not expand my iTunes playlist. So first what you need to do is you need to find all the corrupt files within Serato. So go to this column right here and click right here to organize by type and scroll down to the bottom. You're going to see these orange ones, okay? They're either going to be a question mark or I think a lightning in the orange. I already am familiar with these two files. If this is a glitch or a bug, I cannot get rid of them, okay? But if you have other ones, control delete to delete them, okay? Control delete, and they will delete. But these ones will not go away. They're not in my eyes. I don't know what these are, but they won't go away, okay? And then you'll have another type where they are corrupt within iTunes. So that is this right here these gray circles with the lightning bolt okay if they play they should be fine meaning if they load they'll be okay but if they don't load then they might be they might be an issue right like i said i'm just experimenting all this i'm just trying to find the best solution okay um i'm familiar with these two files they will not go away either but before i did this i had maybe 20 or 30 corrupt files in my itunes so what i do is i try to load them okay see when i load this this should be a whole song but nothing happens here, right? Nothing loads. Um, and like I said, these are bad examples because these are just glitches. I've already cleaned up all the other ones. But the process here is you want to find the corrupt files here in iTunes. Look, I mean here in Serato, then look for them in iTunes, right? So I would just copy this and then search in iTunes. This is a sidebar. If you're on, and this is not iTunes anymore, it's music because I'm on Catalina, right? That's the problem here. 
Sorry if I haven't mentioned that yet. The problem is music app in Catalina. You can't use iTunes anymore. Um, go to songs. And this search bar does not work the way you want it to. Uh, so go to songs. And if you want to search through all your songs, go option command F. And it brings up this. And this works like the old iTunes search where if you click songs, it would search your whole library. It was pretty precise as long as you type the spelling in on everything you're looking for properly it would find it um and again i just have to remind you that these these two i've already cleaned up all my um i've already cleaned up all my corrupt files these two are just glitches so we're not going to find them but what i but here's the i'm just going through the process just so you guys can see okay i will copy this so i don't have to type it in the name and then I'll go in here and type it in here. Once I see it in here, I'll delete it. Okay, so once I find it, I'll delete it because it's because it's corrupt. And I can show you guys how to fix a corrupt file in another video. But essentially, you take it, put it in a DAW like Ableton or Pro Tools, and then uh, bounce it. And then now you have a fresh new file. It's no longer corrupt. Okay. Um, Yes, so that's it. But now this deleting causes another issue. And it's stopped on my end, and I don't know why. Maybe it's because they've updated and everything is okay now. But it causes another issue. And I'm going to explain to you what it is, okay? So you might want to delete. You know, there's two way, two types of delete in iTunes, right? One is to just delete from playlist. So if you just click delete on this song right here, it's going to just disappear from my playlist, right? But it's still going to be in my library. Another type of delete, when you're cleaning house, right? Like I don't want this song anymore. You're going to click option, delete. And what that does is it deletes it from this playlist and it deletes the file completely, right? It deletes it from, I mean, it deletes it from your iTunes library, it deletes, you won't have it anymore, right? So when I click option delete and I click delete song and I say move to trash, right? That song is now in the trash bin. See? Ugly mugs, right? The issue that I was bumping into is I would delete this, clean up the trash, right? Clean it up. That that file no longer exists in my computer, right? We couldn't even search it. What would end up happening and it stopped doing it, okay? But what would end up happening, this might be happening to you, is I would shut down iTunes, restart my computer, come back with iTunes, and that file would show up right here again. Okay? And then when I would double-click it, when I would double-click it, it wouldn't play. What it would do is it would say, source file missing, something like this, I'm paraphrasing, paraphrasing, but source file missing, would you like to locate? Right? Of course, we can't locate it. Because we already emptied the waste bin, right? So we we can't do locate, right? So then you would have to delete it again. What I found was I was having issue with this, okay? The issue was when I had those files that needed to be located, my... Sorry, I'm, pl I'm plugging in. You can see 5% warnings already. Um, you could see... That my when I would when I would have those files where I would see the the song here, but it needed to be located, and I already had deleted that file. My Sarai, I would not be able to expand uh, my my iTunes to see the playlist in Serato, and so what I ended up having to do was I had to look for all those songs that had been deleted that need their files to be located. Now it's easy to keep track because we, we just did a video and we know we deleted it from here. But when I'm cleaning house, I'll go through all my playlists and just delete a whole bunch of stuff, right? And I don't know where they are and I can't remember what songs they are and I'm destructive and I delete the, I did, cause this was never an issue. I could just easily delete things, put them in the trash can and delete them and no issue. But now we have an issue. I, I learned that a problem with you know, the non-expanding iTunes in Serato was because I had these 
files in here with that needed their files to be located so the the fix to that is before you delete something right before you delete something like I don't need this anymore this is for a wedding I put it in a delete folder okay and then I'll delete it from here so that if those ghost files file names come back right after I delete this and it comes back I have a log now here in this delete folder and I know which songs came back right when I, I deleted it and now the I, we would call these placeholders I guess where you would click this and the you know I had already deleted it but it but it shows up here in the playlist at least now when I delete stuff I know what I deleted so it's an easy fix what I was doing was I was I realized that I needed to do to delete those lo mislocated files or whatever and some days I would forget I would forget to put them in the delete folder and I would just like clean house and I don't know which files are doing it what I would have to do is go to all my songs and then double click every song to make sure they played and look for those mislocated files so please be careful when you're deleting okay if you're not having this issue then thank goodness but if you are this is a system to keep track uh, so you don't go through what I had to do I can't remember if I mentioned it and I know I'm doing it here but it's for the videos purpose and I already have a fix but I have noticed that the iTunes won't expand and I've, I've been trying to find the combination there's a certain combination of when you have Serato open and then you open up iTunes and then you either close Serato first or close iTunes first it causes that issue as well it's fixable with the first fix I told you with the show iTunes library fix but it's not a good idea to open iTunes and Serato at the same time not right now uh, eventually I think you'll be able to without any issue but right now while they're doing the updates and really fine-tuning all that stuff I would suggest not doing it I used to do it all the time DJ with Serato but then play a, a playlist like a dinner playlist here from iTunes I don't do that anymore I'll either play the I'll play it from my iPod or I'll play it here uh, from my Serato so that's it I hope that I hope that fixes it if you guys have any suggestions um, or questions please put them in the comment section and I'll try to uh, I'll read those and and either take them into consideration because I'm always down for help I don't know if this is you know I hope that this helped you and if you guys have any suggestions I'm open to them man I, I want to learn too you know and if you have any questions hit me up if I have the ability to answer those and I have the knowledge base then I will all right thank you guys have fun out there DJing peace out